To wrap up the unit, we go back and answer the big question, how do machines move large, heavy objects? And so in this, students can finally design one last design to solve the challenge using any combination of simple machines they want. So same idea, draw a picture, share it with your classmates, actually test it out, and then share your final results. And then hopefully you have a working solution to get the crate or the air conditioner to the top of the cliff or the Isaac Newton Middle School for Math and Science. After students have tested out their final plans, they have a solution showcase. In the past, I've done this different ways. One year, I had them make Google presentations, and we did like a virtual gallery walk in the computer lab. This year, it was their science fair projects, um, and so they actually presented to eighth graders and various adults from the school community. Um, so this was just a nice tie-in. It happened to be at the right time. Um, but you can also do it as a regular presentation in class. What did you use for to get your data? I combined the 30 inclined plane and a free pulley. I used a 30 degree inclined plane and a 11 meter silicone plane. Okay. And a 15 degree inclined plane and a free pulley. With no machine, it was 10.8 newtons. And with a fulcrum cluster load and a 30 degree inclined plane, it went lower and it was 1.9 newtons. Our data shows that well, with no machine, it has 11.76 newtons. But with the machine, you only have you only use 2.24 newtons. One drawback was that we did not have to use that much force, but we had to use a huge amount of distance. And after all that, we just go back and we make sure that we update the project board to put a nice ribbon on the unit. And it's like, look, have we answered the big question? Can we get this crate to the top, this heavy object? Do we know how machines move large, heavy objects? Yes, we do. Emma, they either Emma, help us use less force or more distance. Beautiful. The reason this unit is done this way is that kids learn by doing and they can only learn so much at once. So it's little chunks of what you need to know, of what they need to know, and it gives them time to sit with it and live with it and have it be a part of their world and then become a part of them. And then you give them the next chunk.